In this video, we're going to go over the import packages feature within FlowHub. As you can see, I've already selected my packages option here on the left navigation. Here, I've got a list of different packages that I've already gone through importing my get from metric. To import new packages, we'll select this get from metric option here at the top right, and then we'd select import new packages. What this is going to do, it's going to sync your FlowHub with your metric and display any packages on this page that do not exist in your FlowHub inventory. Now that I've got a list of packages here ready to be moved to my inventory, I'm going to start with this top concentrate first. Now I'm going to select this import is inventory. What this is going to do, it's going to bring up my add new inventory item modal. Now as you can see, it's going to automatically bring in our package tag number, our batch number, along with the source license number as well. Now I'm going to come down here and do the same thing, but this time we're going to go with this blue dream bud. So I'm going to import as inventory. It'll bring up my bulk flower. It'll have our package tag along with our batch number. Supplier license has already been filled out. If we need to adjust our supplier license, we do have that option. And then we can put in where this was tested at. So I'm just going to say the lab along with the test date of this specific package. Now we've got the total weight of that package that's coming in. We can put in our package cost. Let's say I spent 2K on this package. The other required fields we need to fill out are gonna be our price profile. So I'm gonna select which price I'm gonna be selling this package at. Let's say this could go to my dragon shelf. And then the strain that I'm bringing in. If you forget which strain it was you're importing, you can always put your cursor here and it'll let you know which strain you are in the process of bringing in. Now, since I don't have any Blue Dream in this environment, let's say that I'm gonna bring this in as my liquid swords by 36 chambers. Once that strain name has been selected, you'll see that our cannabinoid ranges are gonna auto-populate from our strains catalog. Lastly, we have our op opportunity to assign this to a specific room. So I've got all 453 of my grams, and I'm actually gonna bring those to my back stock. Now, if we wanted to split this package, we do have that option as well. Let's say I only wanted to put 200 in my back stock, and then I can put that last 253 on my sales floor. Then I'm gonna select save and close. Now that package has been moved to my inventory. Now the benefits of using import packages is that it does show us the 24 digit package tag number that comes in from metric. This cuts down on potential user error. You'll see that it also brought in that weight or quantity from metric as well. And then also the license. This ensures that we are getting accurate data from metric. And that way when we sell out of it and push to metric, we're also pushing accurate data to metric for our sales. So again, to recap, we came to our packages here on the left. We selected get from metric. We imported our new packages. And then we came through and selected the package we wanted to bring in and import as inventory, filled out the modal and added it to our inventory.